Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully formatted this cart details along with this product details. We have seen it. So in the cart, we will be having only the product ID. Now we have got the product details, complete details along with its quantity also. Now it's time for us to design the cart details page so that whatever the cart uh, details we have framed it, formatted it. Let's try to show it in that cart details. I will I will be doing only some part of the design only. So I will be not concentrating more on the design. So just we will try to have a proper layout. So basic layout we will try to design it. So here we got the views data successfully. Now what I will try to do rest dot render and I need to create a file that is nothing but cart details. So whatever that may be the name. So let's try to maintain this is cart details and I will pass this views data into this one. So I am passing this views data into this one. So let's try to create this card details page here in the views. I can go into this views and here in this views directly I will be creating card details dot EJS. So let's go on to the add product and I will copy this complete add product in the card details dot EJS. Oh, where is this? So here I will copy entire this one and let's go on to this card details and I will paste it here entire thing. Now from main, so from up to here to here I will delete the entire thing. So these are all comes the navigation dot EJS. These are all the layout thing here. I will design the main. So what I want to do. So here I will be showing. Let's say that I will be taking a container. Okay. In this container, I will be having dot row. So if you want, you can also use this row container thing uh, row thing and all those things. And here I can show something like H2 card details. If you want, you can maintain one HR also not a problem. One horizontal line. And we got uh, this is the heading. Now here I need to show new class is equal to card details. So this is our card details section. And here I'll be having new class is equal to card titles title. Okay. So in this title, first one I'll be showing uh, what I can say product name, product name. And the next one is the quantity. So what is the quantity? He has he has pushed into the cart and product price price per product I can say for one product what is the price and here I can say that total total price okay total price I can do it so these are the main things which we can say so here we got the complete details now here I need to have due class is equal to cart product I can have this cart product and we can loop over this card product one by one. So here I can do for let product of what is that one we'll be having cart products, right? So we'll be having cart products, I think. So let's try to see again. So here I will close this one. And here also I will close this one. So this is the thing. Now let's go on to this cart controller. Yeah, this is the cart products. And first one, what we'll be having here, we will be showing product name. So that means here I'll be having so is equal to product dot title. That's it. So product dot title. And next one, what we'll be having quantity. Quantity, we already will be directly having this quantity. So I can show directly quantity. And the next one is price, product dot price. And the next one is cart price. So I already saved these details in the cart price. So here if you try to see in the cart controller, so this is the cart price and in the single product we already have the price and this is the cart price. This is nothing but the single product price into the quantity. So we are showing it here. So that's it. So we are showing all the almost all the details and now we are having photo.ejs and all those things we are having. Let's try to see the output how it will look like. So if I go into this one, if I click on the cart, see we have here we are able to see some details, but this one is not looking somewhat fine. So what I will try to do. Let's try to format this one. So here we will be having this cart cart and let's go on to the CSS. I will be creating new one cart.css. I am creating a new CSS file cart.css and it should be imported in this one only. I am importing here link here slash CSS slash cart.css. I am adding here the link. Let's go to the cart.css and here I am having the cart title. So here we can keep something like DA fun flex. Okay, I can also keep text type and end or something like this. So order it maybe. And we can have it. The basic thing. 
so cot hyphen title cot hyphen title inside that one due okay or otherwise you can have something like greater than due direct chain so here we'll be having uh, font weight i will be trying to take font weight bold okay and we can say that flex as one um, if you try to see the output how it will look like let's refresh this page yeah we are able to see something like like this and we need to format these details also let's format those details uh, if you go into this one so we are having cart product so card product where is this one yeah card product and we can also have the same thing d hyphen flex and for this card product cart hyphen product greater than due so we can have flex of one i think text align right we can keep it so that it will come to the right part and if you want you can also keep border bottom one pixel solid in the same scenario we can also have for this one border bottom one pixel solid let's see the output how it will look like i am refreshing this page yeah we are having somewhat it is looking somewhat fine but let's have try to have a some padding or something like that so i can give here padding top bottom 20 pixel comma 0 pixel and the same thing here also you'll try to have padding 10 pixel comma 0 pixel if you want you can use the bootstrap also so just i am trying to keep it like this so it's looking somewhat fine so we'll try to make it as a simple only and here is our total price and here is our uh, price per product so each quantity so here each product price is 23 dollars and 23 into 2 that is 46 so let's try to represent this one as a dollar let's go on to the card details and here in this card details dot ejs so this is our price i am writing here dollar and this is our here and i am also writing it dollar at the end what i can do is so here i can do due and i can display something like uh, h3 total price and i can write here total price is equal to total price so we are also having the total price i have already calculated there so i am not doing anything from the template side whatever the data i want to get it i will get it from the controller side so just i it will i will use this view only to loop over and show the data only so here we are able to see the 102 dollars 46 plus 56 uh, but this one is showing at the left side so let's move on to this one class is equal to text type and end if you want you can use it and uh, what is that we can use the dollar here that's it so hope this one is completed i think yeah we are able to see we are able to show the total price you can have some margin design and all those things now we are able to see home and if i click on the cart i'm able to see the cart details if i go here and if i click on the add to cart here again if i go into this one so this has been updated to two if i go into this one and if i click on one product and this one has become three so we are able to successfully do this one if i go to the admin and if i delete this one so it should be deleted from the cart also right if i click here something has happened let's see so while deleting cart controller cart products we are not able to get it okay the problem is i think might be from the delete i think so where where we are doing this delete in the cart.js in the cart.js delete product somewhere we are doing delete product and we are updating the products and we are updating the products and here we are getting cart.products okay 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 so now if you try to see the cart.json so this should be something like products like this so we have we are maintaining like this one right so now it should be like this and it should not be an array it should be an object and this one should be an array so enter thing is actually got corrupted so let's try to delete this file move to recycle bin and let's go to the cart.json and here it should be products okay so updated products so i need to save it like this not like that one so deleting the product and i want to update it in the products let's see once again if i go into this cart uh, i will try to go to the home and i will click on the add to cart let's try to add anything other thing 12 so add to cart let's go to the home and i click on add to cart let's go to the cart we are able to see two details and i am clicking another add to cart so we are able to see this one so let's go to the admin and i am deleting this one so this one last one 12 dollars thing 23 dollars i am keeping so deleted let's go to the cart 
see now that one is deleted 12 dollars which is having the quantity one that is also deleted the product is also deleted from the cart so we have successfully created this cart details page okay so now we are able to add whatever the details we want we can able to add it so cart we it will be got updated and if i try to add a new product here so this product will be added and in the home if i try to add it in the cart also it is getting updated without any problem so this is a this is how about the cart design page if you want you can also increment it here and delete the product these are the things you can do it so all the already we have did all those things so you can do it this is not a problem hope you understood about this cart details page if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you